Okay, Megan, you come to William Jewell College from junior college. What's that transition been like? Um, it's been good. I think uh, I was expecting it to be a difficult transition to come from a two-year program um, versus a four-year, but it really hasn't been too bad. Everyone here has been like very welcoming. I enjoyed my spring season and getting better here and just to be a part of the team before we actually came in in the fall was actually a good experience, I think. William Jewell has this reputation, rightfully deserved, being very tough academically. How's the yeah. schoolwork going? The schoolwork was a little bit of a transition, <laughs> but it's been good, a good challenge. I like my major, I'm a psych major, and I really enjoy that in the classes that I've taken so far. Weren't you like an all-conference academic, something like that? Uh, yes. Yeah, so you're, you know, you're somebody that can handle that, right? Yeah. What's, what's, what's been the big <laughs> key to being successful academically? Um, I think for me just staying on top of everything and not procrastinating I can do that sometimes okay. but with volleyball I think even on the road trips during the fall season it's easy to get homework done and stuff. So oh it is easy? Yeah. So you don't mind studying on the bus? Or, no, yeah, okay. that's fine for me. Same question we ask about academics but now about athletics. What's the, been the challenging thing about making that move and, and playing at the D2 level now? Um, it's been a little bit different, I think. Uh, it's different coming in with a lot more girls. I think at Highland we had like 12 girls on the team versus like 18 here. So that's different, but it's a good thing because you always can scrimmage and practice. And mm -hmm. it's good to know you have people on the bench who are just as capable of doing everything as people on the court. And that's really nice to know, I think. You guys are in the midst of this playoff race, and in your mind, what's the key thing uh, on the court as, as we finish up the season and, and look for the GLVC tournament? I think mental toughness and working together. I know that all of us really like playing with each other, and it's we have a good like team connection, and so I think if we stay mentally tough and just continue to work together, I think we can be successful. I love talking to setters because, you know, and you hear this, I'm sure, all the time. Setters are the quarterbacks of the team. You get the ball in your hand probably more than anybody else. What's that like? And, and was that a change? Did you have to learn a little bit different style or anything when you came here? Um, I think I did have to learn a little bit different style because I think going anywhere, coaching is different every place you go. But I've been a setter my whole life, so it's not a super hard transition, I think. Okay, what's the thing that maybe people need to know about setters that they probably don't know? Um, you know, <laughs> I would say maybe getting your hands on the ball every single play is difficult, and not always do setters do that, but they work really hard to try to get to every single ball, which right. is different. Oh, the pursuit is, is everything. Right. That's why we talk about passing being such a big part of the game. Right. You pass well, you can hit well. For sure. You come uh, to Jewel from a small town in Kansas, about yes. 3,300 people. And can you tell us a little bit about that and your family? Um, Holton is a pretty good town. It's small, but not too small. Pretty close to Topeka, so we have a city pretty close. Um, athletics at Holton are a big thing, and so it was nice going to a school where it was pretty athletic oriented. Yeah. Um, my family, my mom works for the school actually, oh. so I've been a big, like, the school has been a big part of my life sure. for my whole life. And my dad works at a golf course, and so I've been on the golf course my whole life. I was going to say, you play some golf too? A little bit. Yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. You mentioned a few moments ago you're a psychology major. Where is that going to take you? Um, currently, I'm not for sure. I was previously a criminal justice major, so mm -hmm. possibly somewhere in the criminal justice field after Jewel, but I'm not for sure yet. You sound like one of those uh, those criminal minds kinds of people <laughs> that you can go investigate Possibly. crimes and look inside <laughs> the mind of a killer or something. So, Hey, it's been a tremendous meeting you, and I wish you success here in the last seven games, Thank and uh, continue on that uh, drive to the playoffs. Thank you. Thank you, and we'll be back with set number three in just a moment.